here with David Wax Museum. It is Friday, March 18th, down at South by Southwest. They just wrapped up a show at Barbarella at the Brooklyn Vegan Party, and we grabbed some sort of green zone space here. Um, it's a little out of the way, but it's a little quiet, and we have some downtime. So I am here now with David and Suze of David Wax Museum. Hello. Welcome to Texas. Thank you. <laughs> So you guys had a show earlier today, uh, the Brooklyn Vegan Party with Old 97s and Middle Brother. Yeah. How'd it go? It was, it was really wonderful. We were just the, the first show there um, at noon, but we love a lot of the bands. We actually were on tour with Old 97s last summer, so oh, cool. it was really awesome to get to say hi to those guys again. Nice. Um, so it's a really fun, fun lineup to show today. Yeah. And, and then you have a show later today uh, at 5.30. That's right. Yeah. Where is that at? It's over at the Dogwood, kind of a little bit out of the madness of everything here yeah. on 6th Street. It's good to step away from it every now and again. Yeah. But it's been good. That'll be our fourth show tonight, and that'll be our last one. So nice. we'll get to just enjoy, enjoy from there. What's been the highlight so far? Have there been anything that's... Uh... Um, for me, getting to see Devotchka was the highlight. That, nice. They were so incredible. Yeah, yeah. And I just left feeling so inspired by, by what they're doing and how just kind of virtuosic they are, but also just like... I don't know, it's, it's, I, I just had never seen them before, didn't know what to expect, but I was just so, I was just, I left really excited to play music. Yeah. Which is, I think, the ideal feeling to have after seeing a band. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of that down here, too. There's so many bands, there's so many shows that you, you know, if you don't walk away from this inspired to do something, you're, you're, you're probably doing it wrong. Yeah. You know, I mean, did, is this your first time down in South Park? It is, yeah, first time in Austin. Nice. Okay, cool. yeah. Do you think that, um, you know, South by kind of started as this, like, rock and roll festival, it has this indie rock thing, this, like, hipster connotation, do you think it's kind of, like, widening the belt a little bit for other genres and other styles? Yeah, and... for sure. We, we actually played a, a showcase last night that was um, all music is world music. Oh, nice. So there were a couple Ethiopian bands and a Latin band and then kind of what we do, which has some Mexican fusion in it. Nice. Um, so it was a pretty, pretty amazing lineup of bands that had nothing to do with indie rock. Right, right. Oh, cool. Yeah. And we were saying off camera, you guys played 200 shows last year. That's uh, right. <laughs> are you still on on pace for that in 2011 with the new album out and everything? We, with the new album release, we're definitely touring pretty hard this um, the first part of the year. We're going to Europe for the first time in nice. April. Nice. Um, which will be exciting. We've got an amazing lineup of summer festivals, yeah. um, kind of some national and some international summer festivals. So very cool. Um, Really looking forward to that, but definitely kind of raring to go. Yeah, um, it's not slowing down yet. Is it so? Is this is like the promotion side of the new album now? You know, the album came out in I think February. February yeah, February third. So now it's just we've just been playing almost every night since then. Really? Sure. <laughs> but it's been great. We've had a couple days off, and we're about to go play Mountain Stage. Nice. Which we're really excited about before we're heading to Europe, and um, it was great. I think we came here with them. Uh, trying to have low expectations. We've heard it's just it's just out of control here, but it's been great. I feel like all the shows have been really good. The crowds have been great. Yeah. People have been really receptive to something a little more offbeat and mm -hmm. acoustic. And yeah, yeah. We've been competing against some loud bands, but <laughs> people, happens, are, yeah. people are real generous listeners. And yeah. it's, it's felt really worthwhile, so I'm glad it came down. When are you back in Boston? Are you at any shows? No, not till show. summer. summer at, the end of the, at the end of this month, we played in Worcester. That's true. This is close enough, you know. We're, with, with Dom blowing up down yeah. here, we're, we're including that in, in the Boston in the Boston and also out, out in Northampton at, at the Iron Horse. Oh, cool. Bay. Nice. Cinco de Mayo there. Oh, nice. But I think hopefully late summer, early fall, we'll be back in in Boston for a show. I mean, after kind of giving everybody a breather after our Oberon show. Yeah, yeah. Which people are still talking about. Oh, I mean, cool. people were just like completely blown away with like all the other performers and all the yeah, other stuff yeah. you had. And like, it was. It you was do that fast. every show, right? That's, that's <laughs> every. We can. <laughs> no, it was the Oberon show for us was just. It was just kind of a dream to get to have all of our friends together for one big show. Yeah. And, you know, have our families in. And a cool room that's like not a traditional venue, but it's a, you know it's enough of a venue where it's not like you're doing it at a coffee house or something. Yeah, it's like a real, real theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah it gave totally. us a lot of theatrical elements to work with, which was fun. Yeah, we kind of used the whole space. I think people really appreciated that. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Great. Well, thanks for uh, taking the time. Yeah, our pleasure. I'm gonna sign off.